Let's get it. 40 West Wrestling, episode number five. As always, I am your host, Tyreek Nolan, heavyweight coach, the heavyweight coach. Joining me, of course, is my co-host, Logan Meister. How's it going? It's going well. Let's get it cracking, man. Let's get it. Yeah, this chair is making like way too much noise. It's squeaking on you. Yeah, this intro is probably like all messed up. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this. So, the past couple weeks, really the past month has been, you know, I mean, everything's taken off. You know? yeah, we're really, yeah, we're starting to get the ball rolling. The competition season started, so yep. we're just... And I love it. It feels yeah. like it's been so long since I've seen like actual competition. Yeah, like a, just a real, you know, it's last year was so different. Yeah. And now we're, it's early fall, or late fall, sorry, early winter, and we're starting to get into our competition, our full practice schedule. It just feels nice. It feels normal. Yeah. It's, uh, it's what we're here for. Yeah. We're here for wrestling, so. I feel like a lot of the guys also have started kind of like seeing the bigger picture. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like, oh, we're just showing up to all these preseason workouts and yeah. <laughs> we don't know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, we actually get, get to get on the mat and see what our hard work's doing. And, as we're seeing some improvements, it's important. Right, all right. So let's go ahead and rewind, start back maybe a couple weeks ago. We had the wrestle-offs. Yep. Obviously, I mean, it was a good little turnout on the uh, Facebook Live. We had that going, yes, the entire thing. I love seeing all the comments, love seeing everybody who was watching. Um, <clears throat> so what were your biggest takeaways from that? I think biggest takeaways, probably just our freshman class. We've got a lot of scrappy, scrappy young guys coming in our freshman class and I think they're going to push our, our older guys to be leaders mm -hmm. um, and they're going to make an impact. Our young our young guys are going to make an impact right away. And, um, yeah, I love to see the fight and the wrestle off and the competition. Mm -hmm. the competition in the room is pretty, is pretty stiff. So The one thing that I definitely say that I loved about the wrestle off, so <clears throat> it wasn't like our traditional you know wrestle off obviously. Yeah. Um, but the guys still took it serious, you know, knowing what it was that they were going after, yep. you know. And I could even see, even the day before, you know, we had pre-match, and it was kind of just like, you can kind of see the guys, like, starting to zone in and, you know, realizing, like, okay, this is this is about to be something big. Yep. You know, tomorrow's a big day, you know. Um, I'll definitely say that I, I love that. One of my biggest takeaways from it was just the effort, you know. The effort, you can't really ask from, you can't ask for much, from a, such a big group of freshmen, you know, but they all definitely stepped up to the plate, you know. <clears throat> they knew what it was that they was competing for. Mm -hmm. Nobody just gave it up. It wasn't like, uh, it, I'll say, none of the matches were so out of it to where, oh, neither one of these guys could be the starter. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And I don't know, that's one of the things that I don't always love. You know, to have that first string and the second string, they're kind of like going neck and neck. You know, mm -hmm. it's like you never know. They might enter a tournament, and you know the second string might do better than the first one. All right, he might get his number called. Yep. It, and that's just one of the things that maybe it's just from having been here when the heavyweight, you know, weight class was probably like the most stacked that it was. Yeah, we but had some, we had some depth in that weight class. Yeah. That oh was, yeah. That was a battle. Yeah. But I love competing in it. You know, yeah. you knew that outside of competing. Going back into the wrestling room, you're going to get challenged by somebody. Absolutely. To where, when you are competing, you know, it's kind of like, I've been through this before. I've yeah. been through this match a thousand times in practice. Yeah, you don't have to wait until the competition season. Right. Or you don't have to wait until the weekends. You're getting good matches in the room already. Yeah. So you're ready to go. And that's what, that's what gets a lot of guys, you know, those good looks that mm -hmm. they really need to know how to adjust and how to react in matches, you know. I always love the class of heavyweights that I came in with, you know? I mean, good competition. And I feel like just going down the line, every single weight class has just that good competition to where they know, you know, I have to be on my P's and Q's or else, you know, it's not going to be a good day for yeah, me. Yeah, somebody's, hey, somebody's always trying to fight for your spot. You know, everybody wants that opportunity to get on the mat and, and show the hard work they've been putting in and, and represent Ferrum College. So, you know, seeing those young guys step up and, and really showing that they want to be the guy mm -hmm. that was important and, you know not all of them got it done they're young it's it's college you're, you're going against guys who've been in the system for a year two years three years it's hard to step up right out of high school and beat those guys but man their effort and willingness to win 
uh, it's going to help them a lot, and I'm excited to see those young guys grow throughout the year. And, and like you said, the wrestle-off's not the uh, end-all, be-all. Right. There are plenty of other opportunities to earn your spot, your starting spot. I mean, there are a bunch of open tournaments where everybody gets to wrestle, and you, you see who battles the hardest through those brackets. And the guy who's going to compete the hardest and compete the best for us is going to be the guy at the end of the season. Because right. And we love all these guys, but we want to win, so we want to put out our, our best lineup as possible. Right. All right, let's go into, <clears throat> go into this past week. So last week we did have the Washington Elite Duel, yep. first duel of the season. Always, I'm pretty sure it's always the first duel of the season. It's it's seeming that way. Yeah, you know, that was our first duel ever in program history. It was against Washington Elite in really? 2013. Yes, okay. Sir. Okay. So it was a cool moment for me just to. You know, that was my first home dual meet as a head coach, and it was my first dual meet as a wrestler too. So, and actually, funny story, I wasn't even starting in our first dual meet. I had won, really? I had won our wrestle off, and then we went into the Pembroke Classic or Pembroke Open the next weekend, and I had lost a one-point match, Jamie Carr, who I'd beaten the wrestle off. So, after that loss, and Jamie had man, he had a killer tournament, mm -hmm. placed at the Pembroke Classic. And he had the spot for the Washington League duel to start off our, our program. So I was watching that one. And I got to watch ours uh, the other week too. So you know, I don't think we performed at our best. We had some adversities, but you know, everybody has adversities, and good teams show that they can battle through it. So you know, we just didn't have the best performance there. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was a good eye opener for our guys. Definitely. You know, we, we can't just walk in and expect to roll people over, you know, right. especially Washington Lee. They're, they're a tough program. They're, they're very well coached. And they're growing. And they're growing, yeah. So they broke into the top 25 recently, the past couple of years. Mm -hmm. They have gotten some close wins over us before, some one-point wins. So, you know, being down a couple guys hurt us, but, you know, I expected just a little bit tougher battle, a little bit closer score. So it's a little disappointed in the, in the result, end result. But it was a good learning experience for our guys. Opened their eyes up right away. You know, we had a good talk after the match and things that we need to fix on on our student athlete side, and then things that we need to fix as coaches as right. well to keep improving. And the, that led us that talk that led us into a good weekend mm -hmm. of wrestling because we changed our mindset going into the weekend, and we wrestled at the Southeast Open and the East Stroudsburg Open. And we were able to bring our men's and women's team up to the East Stroudsburg Open. So, and we kind of had this talk with the women's team as well, just the same mindset going into the weekend. We wanted to focus, we want to take wins and losses out of it. Right. Don't, don't worry about your wins and losses. Focus mm -hmm. on small, achievable goals in the match. You know, focus on your effort. One of the things that we focus on was beating guys to the middle of the mat. Mm -hmm. You know, setting that tone that we're going to be high pace. We're gonna be that guy in the center that's waiting for you. So when you see people go out of bounds, yeah. we're sprinting back to the middle and standing there waiting for our opponent now. Yeah. So I wanna set that tone that we're gonna be hard to wrestle, we're gonna be annoying to wrestle because we're gonna try really hard the entire time. Yeah. Um, well, okay, so how was the atmosphere? Obviously, you know, I was there, but just from a head coach perspective, how was the atmosphere in the wrestling room after that loss to Washington League? After the talk, you know, in the locker room, and you know, obviously everyone was zoned in, you know, listening. How was it like in the wrestling room the next day, or two days after? Yeah, so they, you, you could tell that it hurt. Mm -hmm. It hurt me. It hurt uh, Coach Casa. It hurt you. It, yeah. it hurt the guys on the team to take a loss like that. And I think they took it to heart and they came in to practice the next day, focused, and the intensity picked up immensely. Right. You know, they, they were really getting after it in the room, and I think, like I said, it opened their eyes, so it was a little shock to the body for them, and, mm -hmm. and they stepped up well, and, and I think that's going to be the low light of the season yeah. for us, where we're going to keep climbing after that, Definitely. You know, no, no looking back. Well, going into this past weekend, because we're not going to harp on the negativity, this is not a show based off of negativity. All we do is grow on this episode, or all we do is grow on this show. So, going back to this past weekend, Southeast Open, <clears throat> obviously me and yourself was there. Mm -hmm. I'll say for myself, I saw lots of improvement. 
Yeah. Whether it was a guy who wrestled last Wednesday or a guy who was just sitting back watching, you mm -hmm. know. I've seen so much improvement out of our guys and I, I love seeing when the the younger guys have to step up and wrestle the, the D1 competition. You know, what they're looking at is, oh, this guy's from Virginia Tech, oh, this guy's from, you know, whatever school. Yeah. You know, it's, it's like, oh, I, I feel like I need to be nervous. I didn't see that at all this past weekend. Everybody, it was, I mean, honestly, I seen more nerves going into the Washington Elite Duel yeah. than this past weekend. And, you know, that was a lot tougher competition. I feel like our guys definitely realized, okay, there is no escaping. You know, wrestling is, you know, wherever you go to wrestle, you're just going to be expected to wrestle. No matter who steps out in front of you, no matter, you know, whether it's D1, D2, D3, JUCO, whatever it is, whenever you step out on that mat, you don't control what tournaments you all go to. You don't control the way that they make the brackets where you fall on those brackets, you just have to go out there and wrestle. And this past weekend, every single person who were who was at the Southeast Open, at least, um, I've seen so much improvement mentally, physically. You know, when I would say something in their corner, they would make the right adjustments, no argument after the match. You know, yeah. everybody took their losses like a man mm -hmm. and went on about the day. Yeah, they seemed to listen a lot better during the matches, which was important. That was something that we touched on, you know, being coachable in the match, keeping your ears open, you know, because we get to see things that you don't see. When you're wrestling in a match, you're, you're in your zone, there's some things that you're not picking up on that the coaches out in the corners can see, so guys are trusting in us more, they're taking right. our advice in the match. And I think our success this weekend goes back to the small goals that we set. You know, because we were, you know, and I told them going in, this is how I'm gonna base your success, is how, it, how you achieve your little goals, mm -hmm. okay? Not not wins and losses. We took that out, and I think that helped their mindset going into matches. They know that okay, coach mm -hmm. can be proud of me as long as I give 100% effort. You know, if I I ask them their goals before every match, and you know, a lot of them were get the first takedown. That's awesome. I love that. So or making first contact, it, being the first one to shoot, even if you don't score, being the first one to shoot. Uh, if I get taken down, I'm going to get up to my feet right away. Mm -hmm. Uh, first, first move on bottom, beating guys to the center. And when you focus on those little things and achieve those little goals, one, it makes you feel good. Yeah. Because yeah. you go out there and you get the first takedown. Oh, sweet, I, you know, I did it, yeah. achieved my goal. And it just fires you up to keep going. But when you achieve all those little goals, next thing you know, by the end of the match, you're, you're winning. Yeah. You're winning. And you're like, oh, wow, okay. Well, I not even that. Just getting that first takedown takes away so much anxiety. Mm -hmm. Like me, you know, I mean, as soon as the whistle blows, I'm, I'm clubbing you, you know? And it's it's not even like a, I'm trying to be so aggressive and come off as, you know, oh, this is about to be the entire match, but it's kind of like setting the tone, you know? Yeah. You just might get this the entire match, right. you know? If you don't let me have my way, <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna keep clubbing yeah, you. Yeah, you gotta get that anxiety. Everybody gets a little nervous before you wrestle. That's yeah. normal. And you just wanna get that anxiety out and you don't wanna sit there and think too long. Mm -hmm. You wanna act right away. And just yeah, get the bugs out is what I say. You just get the bugs out right away. Yeah. Start getting on the guy and set the tone for the match. And I think that it also gave a lot of guys confidence just knowing that they were all kind of in the same position. Yeah. You know, I mean, in the dual in the dual meet, obviously not everyone is facing the same competition. Mm -hmm. You know, but in a tournament, you know, at some point it's going to get hard. Yeah. You know, if your first two matches isn't aren't hard. You know, expect for the third one, expect for the finals match, you know, just whatever the case may be. And I love the fact that everybody kind of came together and just realized, you know what, this is what we have to do. Just go out there and wrestle. I mean, anyone that I was talking to after their match, you know, hey, you just need to work on this. You know, tweak this a little bit and you'll you'll do better next time. Yep. Lo and behold, you know, I've never, I, I've never been to a, a tournament and seeing a single team just like okay after your first loss you come back and you compete even harder yeah. and you know you may not get the results that you want but you came back and competed harder mm -hmm. out of every single person on that team if that makes sense I mean our guys they they really did just go out there and they left it all on the mat this weekend you know yeah I was I was proud to be in the corner uh, every match even the ones that we lost mm -hmm. I was proud to be wearing fair wrestling gear. Definitely. You know, the, the guys just fought really hard. And, 
You seen my text in the uh, group me. I was, I mean, yeah. and that's probably the first time that they've seen me like you know have my little sentimental moment. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I really was just like overly excited yeah. for the day mm -hmm. already as it was. Just driving up to Roanoke yeah. College, it was just like I knew that something good was going to happen today. Yeah. Obviously, we didn't get the results that we wanted, but I didn't leave disappointed. Yeah. You know, we all compete, or they all competed, and we all left feeling like okay, we can build off of this. You yeah, know? We, man, we won some really gritty matches, some of the yeah. ones that we won. You know, they they weren't super dominant. They were gritty. We we're going against really really tough competition. We're some of our guys are wrestling potential Division One starters, mm -hmm. and they're winning a close match in the third period scoring at the last second winning some overtime matches yep. which is huge for us it's huge for the confidence uh, it's great to see you know a lot of these guys we saw a lot of virginia and north carolina guys that were in high school and now they're in college wrestling division one and they were used to be teammates mm -hmm. with guys on our team and they're seeing how oh, i'm not that far off from right. this guy yep. you know it's just little things yep. we're wrestling in this tournament the same tournament getting some wins and it's just little tiny mistakes that you make in a match that separates you and I think it was huge for our, our confidence going in and when we start seeing some division three competition um, I think our results are going to change because guys are ready to battle the division one competition mm -hmm. and now we're going to wrestle division three competition and I think we'll see that guys will notice the difference now yeah so I, well I mean it, it had to have put them in a different mindset yeah you know it's like oh I can't keep looking at these guys like oh this is Virginia Tech this is Virginia Tech this is Virginia. you know what I'm saying yeah. it's like okay well now the competition yeah. so I don't care who it's, they are it's, <laughs> you it's know? a piece of cloth it's a yeah. cloth or span or whatever the material is yeah right? that's it it's just another dude you're just you just another dude in the dry yeah. fit shirt buddy yeah, <laughs> yeah. all right and so let's talk about um real quick though before we you know there was one I think one standout performance there at the Southeast Open that was freshman Sam Slade at 184. How could I forget about that? Yeah, man, just some real gritty wins. Yeah. It's not always pretty, but man, he finds a way to win. Mm -hmm. And the thing I love about watching Sam Russell is if something doesn't go his way, he gets scored on, it does not change his attitude at all. It doesn't change his face. He just stays in the zone, finds a way to score his next point and get yep. out of whatever position he's in. And it paid off, and he had two major decisions and a pen, yep. I believe, or maybe it was a major and, and two pens, but but pretty dominant. You know, he went four and one, and the way the bracket was set up, if you made it to the semis and lost, you would drop right into the third, fourth yep. place match. So he lost in the quarters and, and wrestled back for fifth, mm -hmm. going four and one on the weekend. And just, I'm excited about that guy. Yep. Great attitude, works really hard, and he's gonna keep improving as well, so. Oh yeah, definitely. Man, great, great hope for the season after this weekend just brought some life back to us so let's talk about um there was another tournament yep the rest of the guys and the uh, women's team went to east strasburg yep pa and competed in the east strasburg open yeah yeah so we'll we'll touch on the men first you know this was a little bit of oversight on my part i didn't do enough digging and investigating on the tournament you know this was basically a Southeast Open type of tournament up in Pennsylvania. So these guys were wrestling, you know, Division One opponents, mm -hmm. Division Two opponents, and some really tough schools there too. And, but still, and yeah, you know, ready? Yeah, right. So I think it'll be a learning experience for them. But my my hope was to send them up there to some better match competition where they could battle really hard. Um, but you know, they got their eyes open. They wrestled some tough competition, and I think they can handle it. Mm -hmm. right? They can take it, and they're going to learn from it as well. So they competed hard from what Coach Costa had told me. Um, yeah, we didn't get great results right there, but again, we focus on those those little goals, beating people to the center, um, you know, getting the first contact, the first club, the first shot off, that, that kind of stuff. So um, improvement, and I think they're gonna appreciate it as well when they go wrestle some Division Three competition later. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it didn't do that great as far as our wins and losses out there. But I'm not hanging my head on that at all, you know, because that was that was very style competition up there for them. Definitely. And, and the women excited to get the season started. That was our season opener for the women. Um, we had Ryan Tyree. This is her first year wrestling. Mm -hmm. So, oh, wow. 
she's a junior in college. She joined us this year. She wants to give it a shot. Her, her brother actually wrestled for us, Tatum Tyree. He was a oh, okay. for us for a couple of years. And this is her first experience out on the mat. She's been to plenty of wrestling tournaments throughout her life, being, mm-hmm. a, being a wrestling sister, you know, so she's there to support. But now it was her in the singlet. It was her checking her bout number. Yeah. And I got to talk to her today about her experience there, and it was just all smiles. She yeah. loved it. And, um, she had she went on two two losses, but man, just had fun. Yeah. And she was excited to be on the mat. She said she was crying afterwards, the tears of joy, and she just had, had so much fun. It was just such a big moment for her to get out on the mat. And just so proud of her for for having the guts to get out there. As yeah. a, a college wrestler myself, it's not. I know it's not easy. It and then to come in new to the sport, mm-hmm. you know, not knowing. All the rules, not knowing everything that you need to know. This is this is our first event, and just to get out there and go after it. Right. And I, uh, I love it. She had a great time, great experience, and she's just excited to get better and learn more. So that was awesome. And then we had Gabrielle Mendoza. She went one and two on the weekend. Got a nice win. I saw her mom had posted a video on Facebook of, of uh, her first win, and she got a sweet lat drop. Oh, really? the girl on her back secured the fall. Love a lat drop, and I love that she secured the fall. The girl was fighting hard to get off her back, and then there was no chance Gabby wasn't letting her up. Yeah, oh, great to see. And I haven't been to meet with Katrina go over some film. Uh, she I know she got a win, and she, her, and Ryan were both wrestling um, up a weight class. So the, we did our weight certifications a little bit late, mm-hmm. just with the late hire, and and so just the way the weight management plan works out, you, you have to lose a certain amount each week before you can hit your weight class. So. She was weighing in light and wrestling up at 143, and, and she got a tough win. So great to see that, and she battled hard. So excited to look over film with those ladies and make improvements. But they just had a great attitude going into the weekend, and I'm excited for the future. Then we can, we can still get a lot better. Oh, yeah, definitely. So let me ask you, do you feel like it makes that much more of a difference going to you know these open tournaments <clears throat> where you don't know if you're going to see somebody from you know, UVA, Virginia Tech, NC State, you know, I mean, you can see somebody from wherever. Uh, do you feel like it makes more of the difference going to tournaments like that or, you know, like a predominantly, you know, just D3 tournaments where, you know, most of the competition or literally all the competition that you're seeing now, you're either going to see them at the end of the year or, you know, they're somewhere, you know, on our, on our totem pole, yeah, yeah. you know? I think one of the biggest differences is there's no pressure. When we go to the Southeast Open, we go to East Stroudsburg Open, there's no pressure on our guys. We're, we're the underdogs. We're the Division Three team and, and Division One II uh, level tournament. So the guys wrestle a little bit more free. Mm-hmm. You know, on paper, they're supposed to lose probably every match on paper. Sure. So there's this different mindset going in. It's like you, you have to kind of prove a point when you're out there. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about seeing these guys at the end of the season. You don't have to worry about how oh, is this going to affect my seed at the regional tournament. There's none of that. And you get to see that you're not that far away from, from the Division yeah. One, Two mm-hmm. wrestlers. They're not out there. You know, there are some that are hitting some, some wild moves, but most of them are hitting the same moves that we show in practice. They're yeah. hitting high crouches. They're hitting single legs and double legs. That's what I'm saying. Everybody, I'm pretty sure, was on the same level this weekend. Aside from, I did see Makai Lewis. Yeah. And watch one of his matches, and I mean, that dude is huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a monster. All right, so let's go ahead and go into something else. New segment that we have for the 40 West Wrestling Show. This is probably the first segment that we've uh, ever had on here. Yeah, I'm excited. You just sent it to me in a text message, so I'm excited to see what this is about. I know. Oh, I've been I've been thinking about this for like. I'll say I got the idea maybe a couple of weeks ago after we had got done doing the last one, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I mean, we need to we need to have something to just bring some light to this. Yeah. So we have this new segment called "What the Highlight." All right. So for the first, <laughs> for the very first, what the highlight? We're gonna go back to Coach Meister's oh, senior sweet. year. So will they get to see this on the screen? I'm sure this is gonna be. Yeah, I'll so um, when I'm uploading it out. But oh, awesome. Cool. Yeah. So we're going to go back to your senior year. We're at Franklin County High School, where we host, used to host the regional tournament. Yep. So this is your semifinals match. What, what was it going into this match that you was necessarily thinking about? Because you had just won regionals the year prior, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so 
senior year coming in, man, man I, had, I had a killer junior season. You know, I was on fire junior year. I'd only lost one regular season match, the number two ranked guy in the country. Yeah, I remember that. Started off senior year, um, started off a little shaky. I, I had an injury, you know, I fractured a few vertebrae in my low back and had to spend some, some time off the mat and was coming back into it. And I just didn't have the greatest start. You know, and th this kid that I wrestled here in this match, I wrestled the first tournament uh, back for me was at the York Invitational. Mm -hmm. And I took this guy down early in the first period, took him down, let him up. You know, I was feeling myself, you know, this is gonna be, you know, I'm back, I'm in yeah. it. And we were on the edge, he had me in a front headlock, and I made a rookie mistake and reached my arm up, elbow high. Uh, he snuck in a pancake and yeah. just put me right to my back and I was flat as could be pinned. Mm. And, and you know that hurt. That was a terrible way for me to start off my year. And this is this guy in the this, this, this guy right here. So I, mean, I didn't have quite the senior season I had hoped for, and I wasn't. You know, I wasn't always feeling my best, but man, I was just finding ways to win. And this was one of those matches where you know, was, this guy was a competitor. Yeah. Very, very tough. You know, ranked top ten in the country. And, this this was a close match. I'm excited to watch this highlight. I'm probably gonna get all the goosebumps. So, getting excited. About this, this is just this is just the last period, or it might be like midway into the last period. Yeah. But you eventually won the match five four. Yeah. I believe so. I don't know. I couldn't really like. I was trying my hardest to zoom in on the scoreboard, but I was just like, I'm pretty sure my yeah. remembers. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was a, it was a one or two point match at this point. I think we were tied up, mm -hmm. and I needed to get a takedown. And man, I was getting after it. I was trying really hard to get one. And All right. Well, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay. <laughs> let's see. Think of where you are right Oh, here we go. Now I'm on bottom right, so I need to get yep. an escape. Get the movement. Get my one. I was trying right away. That was that was one of my things. I wanted to get, I would escape and try and look for a low attack right away so I get yep. one and two. I'm just saying the movement. Straight out and just right back in. Yeah, right off the whistle, man, that's the best time to get off bottom. I was, uh, I was, Afraid on bottom, I was terrified. I never wanted to get turned. So as soon as that whistle blew, I was I've heard people, up. I've heard we use that analogy before. Just like I mean, you got to treat it as if like you you can't be on bottom. You're yeah. afraid to be on bottom. Right. <laughs> and so then y'all are, man, fighting these ties. Man, trying to clear these ties. He was doing a good job sticking in the hand fight with me. That was my, that was my uh, one of my best attributes was my hand fight. Yeah, uh, really, really heavy hands could get guys tired. The one thing I will say is, I mean, like you did not let off the gas at all, and so this you needed a takedown at this point, right? Yeah. So yeah, trying to get our guys to understand that man, people are not going to enjoy wrestling you if you keep a really high pace the entire time. Oh yeah, definitely. And so I, I knew that people didn't really like to wrestle me because they were going to have to battle for seven, eight, nine, however long that match went, they were going to have to battle. So forced the stall calls, attacking a lot, pulled out of my pick, and then he got a nice shot off here, and he's in on my leg, sinking my hips, sinking my hips, sinking my hips. He's trying to reach back up, and I get to my front headlock right here, and I'm going for my snap. Then I'm going to one of my favorite finishes from the front headlock, head in the hole. Yep. Running my feet to the side, tries to jump over, circling, get my underhooks and get my two here. And this was, that was the moment there where I knew I, I knew I was gonna win the match. You know, I was doing my best to hold him down and then or I think somewhere here soon he hits a nice, it's a nice cranby on me. There was a yeah, nice cranby. I wasn't ready to follow, so I let him up, gave him his one, gave him circling. Hips, Just retreat. <laughs> hips, hips, hips here. I'm trying to stay stay in this hand fight, stay on the mat here. I can't give up any calls, so right back to the center. Right. Hands low. He took a shot, stuffed his head, and he gave up there on that last second. So excited, clapping, uh, th <laughs> threw up the, the three. That was the third time that I qualified for the national tournament. So just huge moment for me, and I was excited that my friends and family were there to, to enjoy it with me. So. Well, one of the things that I definitely noticed, and this is kind of one of the things that we could even talk about with, you know, our guys is just when you have the match sealed up, you can still get called for stalling. Yeah. You know, so like in those final seconds, I mean, I don't know if you had already had a stall call before or, you know, probably not just given how you was moving in the match. But, I mean, you did the right thing. And it, it was crazy that you pointed that out because I, I was wondering, like, why would you go back to the middle? I would have just, like, stayed around the edge and, you know, 
but obviously that just lets you know, <laughs> you know yeah. where I'm and, be and man, there was short time left. I didn't want to get a fresh restart. Give him some space. I'm going to oh, get back yeah. to the center and control the mat. Now he's got to approach. Uh, he's yeah. got to approach me because I'm in the center. So I was eating away a few more seconds too, right? Because I'm trying to close this match out and be smart. Yeah. You know, I don't want to give up any takedowns on the edge or anything. So, do you feel like it? It almost messes some guys up because we always talk about having a wrestling IQ, you mm-hmm. know. And that's probably like, I mean, if you have a good wrestling IQ, you can probably pick up some pretty big wins, you know. Yeah. Needless to say, but um, do you feel like it definitely makes the the difference being in a intense ma- match like that and just knowing, okay, I have to, you know, I have to do something. You know, and you're always told, you know, just don't think, just do it. You know, do you feel like that's one of those situations where the wrestling IQ kind of has to take over? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely some match awareness, knowing what's at stake, where I'm, where I'm located on the mat, how much time is left, and what, what the score is. And, you know, I can't give, I can't remember if I had a previous stall call or not, but my mindset is I don't, I don't want to give up any stall calls and give this yeah. guy hope. Definitely. Right, that he's going to come back on me. So, you know, staying low, hand fighting, and circling, and you got to know that that guy, he wants that. You know, this, this was the regional semifinals. So, if you win that match, you're qualifying for the national tournament. So, he, he's coming at me with everything he's got. Right. I, I have to be ready, hands low. You know, any mistake at that point could be it. And then, you know, maybe you're not going to the national tournament. Yeah. Because, I mean, Shoot, if you lose that match, then you have to win two more, two more yeah. to, <laughs> to make it to So I was trying really hard to win that one because I don't want to have to wrestle two more to go. Should just like bit his arm or something. He <laughs> did everything she could, snap his ankle. Yeah, and that was a, you know, that was just a great tournament. We had three in the finals. And yeah. Four place in the fourth, and that was our regional title tournament there. So I'm yeah. excited for this segment. I'm, I'm excited to get some of our guys' highlights up there and show off. Oh, trust me, I'm already on it. We, yeah. I'm already on it. We had some sweet highlights from this weekend, man, some sweet moves. So Yeah, and just, just know that will definitely be on here one day. Awesome. All right, so um, <clears throat> that's really all that I uh, have for this episode. I love the fact that I did, you know, finally go through with this segment because I was thinking about it and I was just like, eh. I don't know how we're going to be able to like watch it and talk about it at the same time because I mean I don't know when I'm watching wrestling I kind of have a tendency of getting quiet yeah. just because like I'm just waiting on something to happen you right. know what I'm saying but then I obviously like after watching the highlight mm-hmm. that many times it was kind of like all right I know what's going I know what's going on now yep. but um all right so this week what we got Meister we've got our next home match mm-hmm. against Greensboro College they're coming up Friday at 7 p.m. Swartz Gym Looking for a fun battle there at home. They're always a fun team to wrestle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're, they're a conference opponent and a yep. regional opponent. So very important for us. And then we have the Cougar Open on the 12th on Sunday. Or on the uh, 14th, sorry, on Sunday. And that's going to be a great opportunity for our, all of our team to go out and compete and yep. wrestle other Division three teams and some club teams I think will be there as well. So I'm expecting for a strong showing at that tournament. And next up for the ladies, I believe, is going to be uh, November 20th. We're going to go up to Liberty for a tri-meet. So excited for them to get some more mat time, and, and we're going to be preparing for that. Yep. So some cool. exciting stuff coming up, and hopefully we can fill up those stands there in Swartz and, and get a good crowd for us. So Friday night we should have a little bit bigger crowd. The last match was on a Wednesday. It's hard for people to get to, so Friday we should be loud and, and proud in there in the Swartz gym. Yep. And trust me, I cannot wait. Take care. <laughs> but that's all I got for this episode. Y'all good, Meister? Yes, sir. Thanks, Tyree. Appreciate oh, yeah, it. Yeah, no problem. For you, baby. <laughs>